God. Hello guys and welcome to today's vlog. Currently sitting on the stairs for no reason really. I just grabbed the camera. Decided to film today because Cove is not here right now. So we're getting like a bunch of stuff done. He's over at Lauren's house getting babysat for a couple hours today. It's been really nice <laughs> to just be able to like get things done because usually Parker and I are kind of like switching off if we're doing stuff. But Lola's been sleeping. I'm actually about to go get her up right now. And I've just been like trying to get stuff done while Cove is gone. So I shot a camera campaign just made a smoothie but also I have like a list of stuff to get done that I sent Parker earlier and he has been getting stuff done too I need to see what he's doing right now I think he was showering but I wanted to show you guys my newborn essentials today and I'm trying to decide if I should do a one month update today or in the next vlog because Lola's not a month old for like another five days so I think I'll do it in the next vlog so today's video will be like my favorite newborn products I've been trying to get Lola on a schedule the last couple of days so so I think I can hear her kind of like waking up a little bit right now, which is perfect because I want to get her up right now. She's actually off schedule right now because instead of starting it at seven, we started it at eight. She's been like, there's been a couple nights that she like wakes up in the night to eat and then it doesn't immediately go back to sleep. And I don't think Cove ever did that like one time. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong, but I feel like Cove, like if she ever did that, it was like maybe once or twice and I just can't remember it. But anytime Cove would wake up, she would just like go right back to sleep and Lola does most of the time but sometimes she's up for like an hour and then it just gets like really confusing and makes me very tired because she doesn't go back to sleep. I feel like my brain is not all the way working. Lola, I'm gonna get her up. She's kind of waking up a little bit by herself so we're actually gonna change the sheets really quick. Anyways, I don't even know if I finished the thought that I was just saying but the point is instead of, I don't even know. I can't remember. I started saying something about how we started the schedule at eight instead of seven because I think she was up at like five and I've been trying to feed her every three hours, so. Yeah, I also have had postpartum night sweats like so bad. I get have so you? sweaty. Yes, look at my side of the bed. It's like covered in like sweat, it's nasty. So we've been changing our sheets like very frequently because one, there's just breast milk all over and two, there's also sweat. Like I will wake up and I'm like drenched in sweat. I'm gonna put the camera right here. We're gonna change our sheets and then I'll get. Just fed her. You feeling good? Oh, you so cute. Good morning. Just gonna hang out while I show you guys my newborn essentials. And like I think I already said, I feel like my brain right now just is not working. Yeah, we'll see if this is like a cohesive vlog that even like makes any sense. I don't know, but I wanna show you guys my newborn essentials that I feel like are very essential for us and things we've been using like every day. So I wrote down a list. I'm still working on my smoothie and I pretty much have like mostly everything in my room. So I'll show you guys really quick. First thing, so this is where Lola sleeps in this little bassinet. I usually keep it like by the window, but it's a little bit cold over there and at night I like her to be closer just cause it's easier for me to get to her. Are you okay? You've been so stuffy, huh? So this is her bassinet. This is from Sacred Bundle. Um, This is also where her crib is from upstairs. It's super pretty. It's an Australian brand. This is the swaddle that we have been using for her. Her, and I like to swaddle with arms down, but she whenever we have her swaddled with her arms down We like never do because she just literally like grunts and struggles the whole time and wants her arms up So her arms go in here. I think I have like three of these maybe even four but She kind of spits up a little bit so sometimes it like has spit up on it and obviously I don't want her sleeping in that if it's like all dirty. So I have quite a few of these. The only thing I don't love about it is how thin it is, but I said that on a different video and some people commented you can buy thicker ones. But what we've been doing is I have this little blanket from Serenoni. This is another one of my essentials. This is like the perfect size to put over her in a car seat or something. But if she's napping, we'll just like tuck this really tight around her. I try not to have like loose blankets and stuff, but it's cold. So she needs like something and when I looked for thicker versions of this swaddle. I didn't really see any. So maybe I need to like check their actual website because I was looking on Amazon. But anyways, this is another Serenoni blanket. Um, Parker uh, wrapped this around her mattress because he thought that it was too cold <laughs> without it. So we have a few of these. These are so soft. They're just nice for if you have a baby in like the fall or the winter because they're just like a little bit thicker than a regular swaddle. So we've been using these a ton. I think I have, I have this one and then I have like a bigger 
size of this white one and we use them both a ton so these are the things we've been using for her sleep and then i have these binkies i introduced a binky to my babies like super early so she's had this like literally since she was born and then this is a monitor that we use it's a lollipop cam definitely very essential i'm like always checking in on her if she's napping in here or even if she's sleeping because a lot of the time babies will like kind of make noises when they're sleeping and you might think that they're awake and like wanting to get up and eat or something but they're not actually like awake so unless she's full-on crying then obviously i know she's awake but if i'm in bed and it's like two in the morning and she's just kind of making noises i will get on my app and like check on the camera to see if she's actually awake um we've been using this a ton too definitely central this is the hatch baby sound machine i love it we have this for cove too and then she's been a little bit congested so we also have this humidifier that's her sleep setup and then luma is like obsessed with this new blanket that we got <laughs> but anyways i have this basket this is a little life hack if you don't know where to put stuff throw it in a basket and then you feel a little bit organized even if you didn't really organize anything and you just literally threw it into a basket i have an extra sheet in here for her bed knotted gowns are another one of my favorites that i would say are essential so it looks like this like a little onesie thing that ties at the bottom these are nice because they're just super easy for diaper changes because you don't have to like take their feet out of the pjs so i love these but we also do put her in like regular pjs i love kite baby pjs here's another one of those like little blankets and a third one of the little blankets somebody gave me one and then this is one that i have from cove so it's nice to have a couple of those because we use it literally all the time i have an extra swaddle this is from knot baby they also have some cute knotted gowns this is just like a regular swaddle but i bought this actually after she was born before i realized that she didn't like to have her arms down are you just hanging out and watching mom this is nice i actually never use swaddles like this with cove like the stretchy ones so i bought some like muslin ones that are this material for lola and i literally have not used them like at all it's kind of just too cold at this point to use those they would still keep her warm but i don't know i've used this one like a little bit more and then burp cloths definitely essential because lola does spit up a little bit more than cove did so i've been using those a ton and then this is a swaddle that we have from kite baby can you guys even see what i'm talking about maybe i should set the camera up and like film like this kind of dark though and i pretty much just showed everything that's in this basket already but this is what I want Lola to sleep in, but she doesn't like her arms down, like I said. So sometimes if she's like already asleep, then I'll put her in this with her arms down because she's like sleeping so she doesn't notice. But this is a sleep sack that Cove uses too. But for the newborn size, they have this little like attachment that goes on the back that you can swaddle them and wrap their arms up in so i want her to use this because eventually i'll take this piece off when we transition her to swaddled like with her arms out once she can roll over but for now we don't use this like a ton i have hand sanitizer in here and then this like nipple butter stuff which i used when i was first breastfeeding but i haven't needed it like as much this time but anyways i also usually have like an extra outfit in here and just a couple extra pair of pjs just so i don't have to go upstairs to get everything that is that and then we also love the snuggle me which luma is laying on right now she looks really comfy hi lola and then two other things that i have used a ton i use my hand pump all the time and also the haka so this put on your boob that you're not breastfeeding on because usually some milk is like coming out of that one so this catches it so this is great so i like to build up my freezer supply at the beginning of like breastfeeding um so i probably have like over 10 bags of milk in the fridge and then if i use one of those then it's because i'm like missing a feeding so i'll pump and then like replace it so it's nice to just have like a little bit of milk in the fridge so yeah this is great or if i need to actually fully pump this is my favorite i have the lv pump too but most of the time i don't really pump that much so this hand pump put it on there do this it's just so convenient because it's like such an easy small little thing and it's pretty easy to to clean too even though i haven't cleaned it literally one time because parker cleans it every time but this is just like the best for if you don't pump that much i love this and i would definitely 100 percent recommend it this is like one of my top things for sure and then i actually also have this basket right here that i keep next to my bed so this is where i keep all my stuff that i use like throughout the day or in the night so this is the nose frida this like helps to clear out your baby's nose and this is the best thing ever we've been using it a ton because like i said she's like a little bit congested i also have this thing i forgot what it's called like an oogie boogie or something but this helps like there's the two little ends so if your baby has anything in their nose you can like help them get it out with this if you can't suck it out with this 
very glamorous but super useful this is also an electric baby nail file which i love when i had cove we did not have this like when she was brand new and i was trimming her nails and i cut her and it was literally i can't even think about it because it was so sad and that was the first time she like ever felt pain probably she was like a couple days old and i was trimming her nails oh it was like the most like worst thing ever because it was bleeding everywhere and she was crying so hard and it was just like so sad that as her mom i freaking cut my baby and made her cry and that was the first time she ever like experienced pain so ordered this on amazon and it's way better so you like turn it on i feel like this is not focusing oh i want it to turn on and that like rotates and it just files their nails so super nice i have diapers and wipes in here i have the nose drops this is like you spray in your baby's nose and it helps like loosen up the boogers and stuff and then i also have vitamin d drops and probiotic drops from Wellaments because the doctor said to get her vitamin D. So um, let me look at my list. I think that's all my newborn essentials. I feel like that's also like as minimal as it could be. Like I have to have all of these things. I don't know what I could really get rid of. The only other thing that I haven't shown you guys because it's not in here is the little like rocking chair thing that we have out there. So basically I would just say definitely have a place to like put the baby. Obviously you can just like set them down like this. Hi baby. If we are like in the kitchen or something um like obviously i can put her on my bed right here and she's fine if like i'm sitting right here too or i can put her on the couch if i'm sitting on the couch but if i'm in the kitchen cooking or doing something then i like to have a place to put her that i can like bring around with me so we have the mamaru swing which we've used a few times and then we also have just like a little rocker chair thing that is a little more portable than the swing just because it's lighter and you don't have to like plug it in it doesn't move by itself but it's just like a little chair for her to sit in so if i'm cooking or something i'll bring that into the kitchen so so this is her outfit of the day this was sissy's outfit huh but now it's lola's outfit also anything that doesn't have feet kind of is not that great because she has socks on right now but they're not gonna stay on next thing we're doing before i go pick up cove is unboxing this package from casetify they're sponsoring today's video we've actually had this for a few weeks now this is no ordinary package this is a though special yeah. package. Very Something special. that we need to do is set up Parker's new phone. Case okay, so I sent us the new iPhone. We got the new iPhone 13. I've had mine set up for a little bit now and I actually need yeah, to I put on my new out. case. This is my old case that like barely fits on here. But Case Defy does have new cases for the new iPhone, the iPhone 13. So if anybody's getting it or you have it, definitely check out Case Defy if you need a case for it. They have every Thing that you need for it. They sent us cases. They sent us like the screen protector to put on. Case device new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. So they have a big variety of cases. You can customize them. They have like all different prints. So I picked out this cute flower print. So I'm gonna put this on my phone. And then Cove is really into dinosaurs right now and she always loves playing with our like extra cases. So I picked out this one for her. So I'm gonna put on my new case and on Parker's to-do list today is setting up his new phone. You need to set it up, yeah. Oh, this one's cool. It's a mirror. Yeah, they sent us like a few different options. And their Chi Tech 2.0 technology offers drop protection of up to 9.8 feet for the Ultra Impact case. Their cases are also 100% BPA free, 100% non toxic, non hazardous. And they have Defensify, which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria and prevents bacteria from sticking to your case surface. These would also be a really good gift for friends and family if you know anybody that's getting the new iPhone. So definitely check them out and as usual we have our code for you guys which is actually it's our link which is going to be in the description below but it's casefy.com slash aspen parker for 15 percent off of your new favorite phone case and i guess i can do the drop test so my case with the brand new phone with the brand new phone my screen protector my new case Whoa, there you have it though no damage does it turn on Yes, and it turns yes, on. Yes, it turns on. Anyways, it's now 12.07, and I'm gonna go pick up Cove. Are you at Target with Ma? Let's go in. We're going in. Yeah, what are we shopping for? Yeah. Yeah, you see the dog. What should we get? Yeah, there's another dog. That's cool. More dogs? Cool. Came here to get some like Halloween craft for her. It's not even Halloween yet. And all they have is Christmas. Did you know it's Christmas almost? Yeah. So, yeah. we got this. Color your own train, which I think she'll like. That's fun, huh, Coco? 
What did you find? You got Pringles and cookies. We got some donuts for a Halloween breakfast. We got another craft. We got diapers, sparkling water, a bunch of stuff that we don't really need, huh? All right, we're back home. Parker had some bonding time with Lola. I took Coco by myself to Target. I'll show you guys a couple things that we got. Got sparkling water, I got peach and grape. We got Parker some Pringles. Looks like we got a lot of junk because we did. I was trying to find like a cute um, like Pinterest breakfast for Halloween, which is this weekend. I couldn't really find anything. It was like an easy little like DIY. So I just got these and I'm gonna put like orange frosting on them and maybe chocolate chips for like eyes to make little like ghost donuts or something i got some gum i got sweet and condensed milk and chocolate chips because i'm going to make a like dessert thing right now i'm gonna help mom make something oh got some cookies i went there to get i needed to get a couple things i needed gum i needed a birthday present for um a friend's baby that turns one today so i got her blocks which are over there then i wanted to get cove some little like uh craft things i wanted to get halloween ones but they did not have any halloween crafts they only had christmas already it's not even halloween yeah got stuff for a dessert that i'm gonna parker's actually probably gonna make it because i'm gonna feed the baby I also got this train. I got diapers. These are the blocks we got. Let's show them this. More help. Mama help what? We're not gonna open this right now, okay? We can open it later. This is a little like coloring train thing. I actually got her a little, um, it's like a cardboard train. I got her a house on Amazon the other day that you can color and she's been having fun with that. So I got her like a train one for the holiday. So we're not gonna open this one yet, but you can play on the box. Oh, I also got mascara and some deodorant. Little Target haul. Go, oh, do you want some more of this? Yeah. No? Do you want to help? All right, so like Aspen said, I am gonna take over and make this recipe for her. I don't know if it's like an old family recipe or something of hers, and I don't even know what it is. It's some kind of a pet, pet revel bar. I have everything right here. I was gonna have Cove help me. Come here, Cove. So it calls for one can of sweetened condensed milk. I forgot how thick this stuff is. Looks like Aspen's coming to help out. I didn't know, what is this recipe? Is this like a family recipe thing or something? You've, have you ever made this before? What is it? Yes, this is something that my mom used to make. I think it's my dad's favorite dessert. <laughs> What? Really? But what my is mom it? would make it like, he didn't, didn't really eat stuff like that, so it was like special occasion. If you like went up to the cabin or something, my mom would like get a bunch of snacks and treats and like make these. I think they're called Rebel Bars. I'm sure other people Full have made them. 12 like ounce bag of chocolate chips. But I haven't had these probably in like over 10 years. I haven't thought about it though. Really? One tablespoon of butter? And even just like seeing this, like my mom's recipe card. Does your mom have like recipe cards like that? Yeah. And she's like handwritten on like a random piece of paper. Yeah. Okay, then it calls for a half teaspoon of salt. I don't know if we have a thing to put these in actually. Oh, is it supposed to go in one of those glass like pan things? Yeah. Oh man, guess what? Remember how I told you I got you an early Christmas present? I might have to give it to you early. Yeah. I really do. Two teaspoons yeah. of vanilla. Cove, you're back. Are you helping dad? You helping yeah. out? Can you help me dump that? Nice. So there's that that has to be microwaved and mixed. And then there's this other part that has to be mixed in the mixer. A cup of butter. How many tea tablespoons? Oh, this is a half a cup. Two sticks of butter. If it, if it was actually Aspen making this, she would probably be like, oh no, we only need a fourth of that and put a fourth, half a stick of butter in and like cut everything into these random numbers and be like, ah, I don't need that much and then it wouldn't have tasted anything like it should. Two cups, do we have brown sugar? Yes, we do. I need two cups of brown sugar. I just stuck this in there to like scoop it out and it snapped. We did just get some new, new ones though. Now I need to mix this up and use the KitchenAid. Done with all this stuff and for like all of it. And then we'll see how it turns out. Alright, 
forgot to end the vlog. So I'm ending it the next day, but this is how the cookie bars turned out. Um, we just, Parker just like cut them because I didn't bake it in a like normal pan thing. My mom said that you're supposed to bake it in a sheet pan, but the one that I used was like way big. Probably didn't fill up the whole thing, but anyways, they turned out really good. They kind of got burnt, but it was not bad. Not the next day. I have crazy hair, no makeup on. My under eye circles are so bad. Anyways, couldn't leave you guys hanging without showing you how they turned out. And they did turn out really good. Anyways, that is gonna be it for today's vlog. Lola's sleeping, Parker's about to take Cove out somewhere. And I have a couple things that I am getting done, like finishing the vlog. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out Caseify and use our link, caseify.com slash Aspen and Parker for 50% off of your new favorite phone case. But that is it for this video. So, hope you guys liked it and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. I'm not